let me get this straight. We live in the year 2014, and there's still stupid motherfuckers out there that are giving in to chainmail. What the fuck? Those are my prostitutes! How the fuck are there people still out there that are dumb-witted enough to believe half the shit that gets posted on the fucking internet? Oh my gosh, Chad! Did you hear? Single working mothers can make over $2,000 a month by clicking this ad on the screen! I just thought you should know... Well, I'm not a single mother, so why are you telling me this? You're a man?! Well, you're watching this video on the internet, which means... Uh, all this stuff may not be true! Well, no, actually, it is pretty fucking true. This is all the shit I see on the internet every single frickin' day. I just don't understand it. Why are people so keen to giving in to chain mail and sending, like, forward text messages and bullcrap with, like, you know, the stories that sit there and say, Oh, there, there was this ghost girl, and she's, she got killed by her dad, and then uh, five years later, the, the family moved out of that house and left a projector, and the projector had her initials on it, and her soul was encrusted into those initials, and now she'll haunt you if you don't repost this within five minutes, and she, she's gonna stand in your closet, and she's gonna watch you, and watch you when you masturbate, and you, you better, you better fucking repost this shit to everybody in your fucking contacts list now, cause, oh boy, if you don't, uh, well maybe nothing's gonna happen, but, oh shit, why would you put up with the risk? It's so risk riskful, oh my god! I just don't understand it. The people that give in to the pathetic fucking ghost stories and shit like that. Like, oh yeah, this girl that got murdered in some other fucking county halfway across the fucking world is gonna haunt me for the rest of my life because I didn't repost a few fucking page-long sentences on the goddamn internet. Yeah, that's right. I just used my fucking brain. Like, half the people that post this shit don't. I'm pretty sure that sending this message won't be warding off little girl ghosts who could haunt me for eternity. Like, this whole thing is ridiculous. And I, I just don't understand how the fuck people give in to this shit. Oh my gosh! A two page long comment that's on the internet? And it says that I could be haunted for the rest of my life? Oh man, I better repost this! And then you have the people that buy the whole consequence ordeal like, Oh jeez! If I don't post this, I'm gonna be so fucked! Like, oh my god, it's sitting on the internet, it must be true! And then you have the chain mail to, at the end are like, Yeah, if you post this, you'll be kissed by the love of your life! This Friday, and and if you don't post this, then you, your your dad's gonna fuck your mom, and you're gonna have a little brother. Like it says here, if I post this one to all my contacts, I get kissed by the love of my life this Friday. I can't wait to see you, Sarah Palin. You know what's really mind blowing though is the people that decide that it's a great idea to forward this to everybody in their contacts. And I'm talking like not just on a computer. I'm talking on a phone. Like, they send it to every person in their messaging thing, and it's got a stupid-ass picture attached to it that looks like it was ripped straight off Google Images. It's got that stupid-ass Mariah Carey music with it, but it's been thrown through a blender and sounds compressed as shit. I'm Mariah Carey, and I wanted you to know I fucked him enough from his head to his toe! Oh yeah! Oh, Mariah Carey, I'm, I'm famous still! Oh, Mariah Carey, I'm still famous, guys! Once again, just to be very clear, I'm not gonna kiss the love of my life this Friday if I repost this to every single fucking person I know. And if you're stark enough to believe that, then you seriously need some fucking help. Wait a second! I've changed the love of my life by then! I don't want Sarah Palin! I want Cher! I like Cher! Like this one, for example. It says here, if I post this message to all my contacts, three prostitutes are gonna show up on my front yard. And that's bullshit, because nothing like that ever happens around here. So yeah, yeah, okay, I'm gonna post this one up, okay? Yeah. Oh wait, just remember though, if you don't post this to everybody in your fucking contacts, the zombies, the zombies are gonna get you, and they're gonna eat you! Yeah, yeah, I, I know if I don't post this, yeah, I, I know that the zombies are gonna come get me, but okay. See, there you go. Now, three prostitutes should be sitting out of my yard right now. And look. Yeah, that's right, there's no prostitutes out in my yard. Hey, Chad. Here's $82. Go rent a hotel room for the night. You're kicking me out? No, no, I'm, I'm not kicking you out. It's just not... You know, I, I had some really nice ladies just show up all of a sudden, and... Uh, you know, I can't have you here for this kind of thing, man. So, just go and uh, rent out a hotel room and uh, say you're 21. And uh, don't drink alcohol. And if you do, don't tell me, because I'm supposed to be the guardian guy. See ya! 
What the fuck? Those are my prostitutes! Hold on a second, those are mine! I hope one of those prostitutes is Cher! I like Cher! You believe in life after love! After love! Seriously need some fucking help.